Hi guys, this is Sai Kumar Kortiwada. In this video, we will learn about interceptors in Angular. So what is an interceptor, how to create it and how to use in our application and what is the purpose of interceptor we'll see in this video. So let's understand about the interceptor. So as we know about HTTP calls which we have discussed in the pre my previous videos. So for that HTTP calls whenever you want to interrupt or intercept some set of request or response then you can use interceptors. So actually speaking whenever you hit an API in general it will go directly to the network call and it will call to the cloud environment and you will be getting the data from the backend and that is what the HTTP request what we do and what we get from the HTTP calls. But if you want to intercept for example we spoke about headers in my previous video how to set the headers but for example you have around 20 or 30 API calls and all the API calls you have to set the headers. In that case setting the header every time for every API would be very hard. That means you want to manipulate your request before sending to the network call. So in that case we can use this interceptor. And next thing is whenever you get the response if you want to handle this responses with an error codes then you can handle that error codes even by using your re response interceptors. So like that you can use set of interceptors and that interceptors will help us to intercept your request and responses whatever you are doing for the network calls. So I'll show you how we can do that. First thing is before going to the interceptor I just want to create one set of injection process where you can call an API. So let me go here and let me import from at the rate angular slash common slash http and let me import the module called as http client module and copy this module put it inside the imports let me save this now let me go into our http client and get that client like http is equal to i'm using an inject method and http client so i got this client and let me use a constructor over here on the flow of the constructor we will be calling this http call let me use get call of our json placeholder let me go here get some json placeholder slash every time we are going with to do's but this time we'll try to go with other api call let me go with comments and copy this url go here and put it over here now let me subscribe to this so let me get the data over here and let me print the console.log of response inside the subscription now whenever you hit this http call there is no interceptor in your application and hence the api call directly hits the network let me go here go here and just inspect this go to the network call and just reload this if you reload you can see that call went with comments directly to the network call now what i want to do is i want to add an interceptor consider this is a very big application and you want to send some barrier token for every request and how to send it in a easy way so by using interceptors we can make it very easy for example ng generate let me use interceptors and let me use a skip hyphen test file and enter. So we have to give the name for our interceptor. Let me give a uh, basic interceptor and hit enter. So it has created a basic interceptor for us. So let me go into the basic interceptor. Now by default, this is a service. As you know, it has an injectable decorator and now it is implemented by using HTTP interceptor, which is given by our Angular. So now this class is not only a service but also it has an interface that is nothing but http interceptor which added a feature for us which is giving an inbuilt method called as intercept so this http interceptor is giving an intercept method which we are trying to override and write our logic and this is taking two things one is request and one is next property so let me use this request as any not unknown and this http will return a value that is nothing but http event of any so let me save this now why i'm using any because this interceptor can receive any type of request and process the data and go forward and it can respond in any fashion because 
the same interceptor will be intercepted for every request so now we got the request over here what i want to do i want to manipulate this request before manipulating this request let's see whether our http call is going via this intercept or not let me use a console.log off with a static text called as intercept this is my static text so let me go here and go to the console clear this off and reload so you can see 500 we got the response but it didn't went into the interceptor why because we have created the service but this service or the interceptor is not configured with our app module let me go into app module and inside the providers we can give this by using another approach of providers in general we usually give a class name for this provider but now what i want to do is i want to bypass all the http interceptors of angular into my basic interceptor so for that sake let me give an object where i can provide the inbuilt interceptor mechanism by using the constant called as interceptors of http and for this i am using a class use class and you can use the class whenever there is an interceptor which is hitting from angular i want to bypass to this use class so let me copy this basic interceptor and put it over here so now there is a property called as multi so whenever you are using multi that means if your interceptors are multiple even that multiple will be triggered by using this multi true and let me save this if you are not using multi true you will be getting an error let me show you that as well so let me click on this and go to the console you can see it went into interceptor and then you got the response from the network into your component let me go here now let me remove this multi and what happens let's see save this and go here you can see that interceptor dot reduce right is not a function that means it is trying to execute some set of logic behind the scenes and that is getting failed so let me use this multi as true let me save this now we got to know that for every http call it goes into this interceptor now what i'll do is i'll create a updated request for us and that updated request i'm just using a clone of this request i don't want to use a direct request instead i want to manipulate that hold into one more request and pass that request to the network call so now in this case i want to use something called as set headers and i want to set the headers in general we'll be using the authorization purpose so let me use authorization with some barrier token so let me pass this hard coded value called as barrier token and let me pass a token over here for now i am hard coding this token and this token now it is hard coded as a string let me go back and go to your network and go to comments and go to headers you have passed one header which is nothing but request header and that is nothing but your authorization let me check that now it was not triggered why because we are passing the request for this handle we have to pass the updated request let me paste this save this go here and go to the comments then you can see that authorization where it went with barrier token so this is how we will be passing our barrier token as well if you want to pass any of the barrier token then you can update your barrier token for example if you are having this in the storage then you can pass from the storage so this logic is up to you how you want to manipulate the request based on your project specifications you can manipulate this and you can hit the apis that is how you can use this request.clone and you can update your request and pass the updated request this is about request interceptor we are intercepting the request now for example i went here and i'm just removing this comment and i'm using something like com and save this now what will happen so it went with that call and we got 404 if you go to the console you got an error in the app.component.ts at 13th line so to catch this error we can use something like dot or just use a second option that is nothing but an error and let me go here just console it console.log of error and save this go here and just you can see that you got whole object which is not understandable in a proper fashion so for that sake what you can do is instead of 
using this i want to pass some set of status code to this particular error in a human understandable language so let me go here and what i'll do is i can use a pipe on this next dot handle why because next dot handle is an observable you can see that we are returning an observable so on this observable as we know in my previous video i have explained you about pipe we can use something called as pipe and inside this pipe we can use something called as catch error so we have a operator called as catch error in our observables that is rxjs so let me use from rxjs slash operators and inside this operators let me import catch error so let me copy this catch error when there is a problem or when there is a error in our request so this will be called and this is taking one function that is internal function that is nothing but your error so let me use error and this error let me handle it as http error response and let me use something like any and here let me go inside this and let me console.log of error but i want to understand whether this error is from catch error or not so i'll use catch error and let me print this error let me return so always the catch error expects a written type in a format of an observable so there is something called as throw error if you want to customize your error messages you can use throw error and it will be receiving an error so let me use something went wrong and save this so now there is an error over here it is not generic so let me use something like this http error response save this and now go here you can see catch error there is something like this http response headers and you got and if you see in your component level whatever i am throwing that is something went wrong is the one which i thrown from here so that is catched in your error block so here what you can do is you can manage your http responses based on your business requirement for example what i'll do is i'll use error dot there is something called as status if you see this there is a status over here so i'll use the status and if the status is equivalent to 404 then i'll return not found so let me return this as url not found so i'm trying to customize my errors and passing these errors back to our subscription where we have subscribed let me go here and you can see url not found inside your app.component.ts now what is happening whenever i hit an api call it went to an intercept it intercepted its request and went to the network call it made a call for our api and then it is responding with a status which is either success or failure so that also i am trying to interrupt whenever there is an error in the api call i am customizing that to url not found whenever there is a status of 404 if you are not getting the status of 404 if you are getting something like an unknown error or something went wrong with our network calls then you will be getting a something went wrong error message which is a generic error message and even if you want to show some toast messages whenever there is an api failure then you can use this logic and you can handle here so that it would be in a better fashion and it will be looking in a proper way so that's about your catch error and the pipe along with the request and response headers now how many interceptor we can use in our application you can use n number of interceptors for example let me go here into the app module and you have used only one interceptor let me create one more interceptor ng generate interceptor and let me give the name for that like logging and let me hit enter so this interceptor i am using only for logging purpose for example if i log something it has to be shown over there so let me save this and go here and create one more provider for our interceptor and that interceptor we can use multiple times so for example here i'll use something called as logging interceptor so first it will go into the basic interceptor and it will go into the logging interceptor let me go into the logging interceptor and for every request i want to log something so uh, let me use something called as request dot url so what i am trying to logging is i am trying to logging the url part over here let me go here and you can just 
see this first it went to the interceptor and that is nothing but your request interceptor and then into it went into the logging interceptor it called the api it got the response and it responded with the proper data for example you may be confusing why it is calling first this basic interceptor and then logging interceptor let me interchange this let me cut this and put it over here and give a comma save this go here if you reload this you got the url that is logging is the first interceptor and then it is going to the interceptor that means how you are registering inside your providers the sequence of registration will be the sequence of your intercepting process so now it will go into the logging interceptor then it will go into the basic interceptor for example i'll show you one more example so let me copy this and put it over here instead of using com i'll use comments which is like proper api call so one is failure case one is success case let me go here and clear this off and reload first it went with the failure part it went with the interceptor and it is not waiting for the response even before getting the response from the comment or the failure case it is trying to hit the comments because asynchronous data so it will not wait your engine to call the apis until you get the other response and then again it is going to the interceptor then you got the response that is comments response is earlier so you are getting the comments output and the failure response is bit late so you got it as a last that means the sequence of request is not equivalent to the sequence of response and each and every request whatever you are doing that will be individual instances for example here if i am doing this call this request this interceptor this interceptor request this interceptor response will be unique for this particular url whereas if you hit the second one it will create a second instance and based on that response it will respond to a particular subscription itself so that is how you can work with interceptor and the subscription logics of your http calls in angular so hope this will give you a brief understanding about interceptor this interceptor logics can be used whenever you are sending the data and getting the data and before reaching to your subscription you can return some data inside your response interceptor before reaching the network you can intercept your request whatever you want so that is how you can use request interceptors and response interceptors along with whatever the interceptors you want to handle you can handle that is nothing but custom interceptors so this is how we generally follow the interceptor logic but to make it very clear the interceptor logic will be depending on your business logic or the specific project specifications so based on that you have to use your interceptors and change the logic inside the interceptors hope you like my explanation if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you